few moments ago. Here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Baltimore Ravens and the Buffalo Bills. Taken in at the three. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. Ravens take over first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. They go play action now. Jackson. That one complete to Hill. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Complete. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. Raven. First carry now for Justice Hill. And that one goes for about six as he's taken down just shy of the 45. The tackle a quick burst there, and he nicely bit ball. off a pretty decent a game. Of six. Brings up second and four. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. And some room to work. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. 16 yards, a first down. A gain of 16 yards. And the Raven first down. Sony Michelle, his first carry. And he only manages a couple here down to about the 38-yard line. Tackle made at Typically, we think it's the strong line. safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage Andrews. amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. And now Jackson will look to throw it. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 40. And a great return here gets this one all the way down to the 26-yard line. Well, that is a quick lesson on how difficult this defense is to throw against an interception on their initial drive of the ball game. Now we know why their offensive staff spent the entire week awake trying to prepare for this one because you can't totally shy away from throwing the football, but at the same time, you're looking at them and going, where are the weaknesses? How are we going to move it? One of the top defenses in the NFL for a reason. We just saw one example right there. Seven-yard line. Now some movement before the snap. And we'll hear from our referee for the first time this afternoon. So a loss of five, and it'll be second down. Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen. He's got the connection to Cole Beasley. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. That's the Today's football where receivers break tackles, make people miss, <laughs> get upfield for the extra yardage. When you see a play like that where it's caught and he's dropped on the spot, that's a big-time play by the defense. Rolling to his right. He may try and run for this. Josh Allen, very athletic at 6'5", showing the versatility, picking up the first on the scramble. First and 10 at the 14-yard line. Now the first carry for Devin Singletary. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Brings up second and five. So the shotgun snap to Allen. And this is caught for a Bills touchdown. Dawson Knox hitting double digits with his 10th touchdown of the season. And the Bills have taken the early lead. He got a figure down by the goal line. This is where a tight end earns his money in the high traffic area. And he's able to work free in the middle of the end zone and grabs that one for a touchdown. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Taking it about the one. 
And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. Take over first and 10 at their own 27-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. They had the interception last time. It led to the opening touchdown. So now 7-0 the score as they start first and 10. He's going deep for Brown. That's caught inside the 20. And all the way in for a Ravens touchdown. Marquise Brown. Hollywood, Marquise Brown with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Ravens are an extra point away from tying the football game. That extra point through the snowflakes up and good. And we are tied at seven. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. Oh, mistake there. The kickoff out of bounds. And that drives coaches insane, doesn't it? When they see that happen, it's just, it just doesn't feel right, does it? Plus, you're giving up yardage. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at the 40. From the gun, it's Allen. He's going to fire one deep over the middle. And that is incomplete. He was looking for Isaiah McKenzie that time. And it's second down. Brings up second and 10 at the 40-yard line. <laughs> Throwing again. Allen eluding the pressure right. He's got it complete to Stephon Diggs. And he is into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Stephon Diggs with touchdown number 20 on the year. And the Bills have taken the lead. Seeing some pretty good offense here in this first quarter. It's been a wild start to this quarter, as you noted. And now with that lead that we're seeing, can they retaliate? I get the sense this one's going to go back and forth all game long. And that probably won't be the last long touchdown that we see in this one. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. And they're on 21-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And following that long touchdown pass on one play drive last time, see if the defense, you, you know they're ready. They don't want that to happen again. And you would have thought they would have been ready the yeah, last time. That's I true. mean, that's what you work on all the time. Make sure that no one gets behind you. That's the cardinal sin of defense, not giving up the long pass. They did. Let's see how they adjust. Oh, they go with a tight end carry. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. That backs him up one yard and brings up third down. A loss of a yard on the play. They'll try and run for it. Here's Michelle. And he's got room. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. It was third and short, and they go flying past the marker for a gain of nearly 30 yards. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 41. And little room to maneuver there. He gets it down to about the 39. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. No doubt about it. Really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. Now here's Hill. And this will result in him losing yardage. Back to the three. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. A loss of two brings up second and goal at the three-yard line. They'll go again from the three here on second and goal. Through one corner, 14-7, our score. Raven seven. And he will take it in for a Ravens touchdown. 
Lamar Jackson, a three-yard run as he kept it himself. And the Ravens are an extra point away from tying the football game. Gano for the extra point. And we've got a good one brewing. We're all knotted up at 14. That ties the game at 14. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. Taking it about the one. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Over first and 10 at their own 26-yard line. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. There have been points on the board. We just saw back-to-back -to -back touchdown drives. I love it. I'm high-fiving our statistician, Christian McLeod. And you, you're, you're angry. You're a defensive guy. If you met one of my defensive coordinators, God rest his soul, I'm surprised he isn't in this booth right now wanting to really take you on. This is not football <laughs> the way he sees it. I he wants him. a good old-fashioned kicking game, defense, field position, and we're getting an up and down the field game here. I'll take him. Where's, where's his tombstone? <laughs> Boot Hill, baby. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Seven-yard line. That was a good run, and it got to the second level. And what I mean by that is that's where the linebackers usually play, first level being the defensive front, last level being the secondary. But the strong safety position ended up making the tackle, and oftentimes we call them a hybrid combination defense. So they hit pay dirt, but don't count it yet. There's laundry on the field. We'll see what the penalty flag is about. A costly penalty there. A lineman got downfield, and for the moment, that cost him six points. Singletary here running out of the gun. And he'll take this for about four up to the 46-yard line. He was tackled at the Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run-pass option. You get the sense that next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? A play fake to Singletary, and now it's Allen. And he's able to find Diggs. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, they only needed a small gain on third down. They end up getting over 30 yards. So the big play gets them all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. From the gun, Allen flushed out right. Now he'll pull it down. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. They brought the blitz that time, and I thought they were going to get to him, but instead, he flipped it on its ear and ended up picking up positive yardage. I thought he was dead to rights, but you are exactly correct, sir. Able to turn that into a positive game. And he's going to be down close to a first down at the Ravens' 13-yard line. After a gain of five, they'll wind up being about a length of the football short here on third down. from the gun. Allen. And that's caught by Beasley. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Cole Beasley. His fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Bills have broken the tie. It's up and good and that'll make the score 21-14. Makes the score Bills 21. Ravens 14. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And this carries into the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. At their own 20-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. Touchdowns on back-to-back -back drives. So a very good flow right now offensively. Hard to slow them down, too, because they are locked in. Feel like the offense coordinator is a little bit ahead of the defensive guys right now. They're beating them to the punch with their play calls. They've got a nice rhythm they're locked into. How can the defensive guys come up with something that will disrupt that flow? That's what they're seeking right now. Well, it's been an exciting sequence to watch. 
after the incompletion. Here's second and 10 from the 20. To throw again. Jackson looking deep downfield. He's got a man complete. And they finally do get him, but not before he reaches the 27. It's a big play there for Baltimore. 53 yards. So that changes things in a big way. Now from all the way down inside the 30, here's first and 10. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. Try to pound it in with Hill. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. Baltimore. Justice Hill, his sixth touchdown of the season. And the Ravens are an extra point away from tying the football game. Gano now to add the extra point. He's got it, and we're all tied at 21. That ties the game at 21 apiece. A couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kick's away. Taking it about the one. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. At their own 23-yard line. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And that last touchdown drive they had very balanced. How key is that balance? It's huge because most of the time when we talk about balance is run, pass, almost 50-50. But most of the times when you... And all the way home for the Bills touchdown. Diggs. Stephon Diggs. His 21st touchdown of the season. And his guys get the quick strike touchdown. These two teams in this first half, it's been fun. Back and forth, back and forth. Well, it's not fun for the defensive coordinators, but <laughs> offensive coordinators are enjoying it. Yeah, they're having streaks here, aren't they? Being able to put scores together and, and really bunch them up, and we have a tight game here. You know, we often talk about having the right shoes for the right turf. Today is track shoes. <laughs> That's what we've seen with these offenses. Yeah, it's been an absolute track meet so far, and fun to watch. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. We have witnessed touchdowns on back-to-back -back drives. We'll see if the offense can continue this uptick here. And I know you're looking at me funny. You're wondering when I'm going to get upset watching these guys go up and down the field, aren't you? <laughs> I wasn't looking at you. I got something in my eye. Uh -huh. That's the excuse that you always use for something like that. Listen, I appreciate good offensive football as much as the next person. When it's pl played well and is skillful, I'm with it. And right now, this is exciting. Oh, the defender likes it. Looking to throw again on second down. Jackson. That's taken in by Duvernay. And they're able to get this one across the 35. A gain of 13. It's a first down. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. So from the 36 now, first and 10. From the gun, it's Jackson. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Normally being a big-bodied receiver plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch, take the hit, and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. A second and ten on a chilly, snowy December day. And I must say, I'm loving it. Kind of putting me in the holiday spirit. Charles, Charles hates it. And has given me the evil eye, folks. And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Now let's see who this is on. So a big play as it gets him all the way down to the 20 now for first and 10. Jackson will throw again. And it's caught. And all the way to the two-yard line there before crossing over out of bounds. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. And they will run it with 
Michelle, and he is into the end zone for a Baltimore touchdown. But Sony Michelle with a lucky number 13 touchdowns now on the year. And the Ravens are an extra point away from tying the football game. That will get know the extra point. And we've got a tie game here in a back and forth first half. So right back to square one, tied at 28 as he kicks it away. Taking it about the one. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. At their own 25-yard line. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. And last time, the formula was pretty simple. One play drive, long pass. That Maybe they just want to do that again, right? And that's exactly how you want to draw things up, whether it's on your grease board, right, in your playbook. One play drive is exactly what you want on offense. What they have to be careful of is not having a letdown. It was really easy last time. They can't expect that going forward. And we'll see if it's that easy here. It'll go as a gain of 25 on a play that started back at the 25. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. Finding Knox there, complete. And all the way home for a Bills touchdown. Dawson Knox with touchdown number two in the game, and now 11 on the year. And his guys get the quick strike touchdown. It's up and good, and they jump back ahead, 35-28. Makes the score, Bills 35. Ravens 28. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And this will make it into the end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. 26-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump start. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. Complete to Marquise Brown. With his second touchdown of the game, number eight on the season. And the Ravens are an extra point away from tying the football game. And things are getting good now. We're heating up tied at 35. Ties the game, 35-35. So we're right back where we started, all even as the kick's away. Taking it about the one. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. At their own 23-yard line. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And we're under a minute to go here. What's been an even first half all tied up? Yeah, still time to make something happen, too. A couple completions, just bring them together. Could get in the field goal range. Let's see what happens. He's going to take off with it. Room here to run. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. First and 10 at the 45-yard line. From the gun, Allen escaping the pressure right. 20! He's got it complete to Diggs right side. 26 big yards on that one. It's another first down. That's the number two receiver in the NFL in terms of yardage. And tell you what, a few more plays like that, he won't be number two for long. Well, that's what often happens when you have competitors running around the field. These guys know where they stand in relationship to yardage, totals, numbers, the whole deal. And let's face it, all of them, they all want to be number one. Oh, he had six points in his hands there. Couldn't hang on. Second down. Throwing again. Allen. It's Knox, the tight end, making the catch. And able to get this down inside the 15, either the 13 or 14, before he's out of bounds. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. They face a third and four after that last completion gets them six. On play action. Allen. And he's going to go down. 
sacked right around the 17. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. A 34-yard attempt. The kick by Bass is good. And the Bills will take a 3-0 lead. Now the drive ends in just three, but they'll take it. Looks like they'll head to the locker room barring something unfortunate in front of the shoulder. Yeah, they may not be jumping up and down and celebrating because they have the lead, but still, any little momentum in a game like this is important to a team, but they feel real good about going in and regrouping, knowing that they are out in front. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. And got his man complete. And he is into the end zone for a Baltimore touchdown. Hollywood, Marquise Brown in the final seconds of the first half. And the Ravens have retaken the lead. But, and he's got it up and through. Makes the score, Ravens 42, Bills 38. So with three seconds remaining in the half, they will line up to kick this one away. And they'll let that one go as it skips through the back of the end zone for a touchback. 25-yard line. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. And now this throw incomplete, and that is how this first half will come to an end. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath as we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports halftime report. Coach, not much has changed since we left you at halftime. The snow still continuing to fall as we are back underway. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Over first and 10 at their own 26-yard line. I'll tell you, far from ideal conditions to play in, but neither offense has had much trouble. Plenty of points to go around. First and 10. Now this one to his running back out of the backfield. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. 36 yards on the play. He was not the primary target. They expected to get the ball downfield. Instead, checked it down. An old coach of mine used to say to us all the time, when they check it down, that should end the down. In this case, though, he foiled that in a big way and turned it into a big play. And he just gets rid of it, throws it away. The wise move there looked like nobody open. Now second down. Line of scrimmage again the 37 as they line up second and 10. To throw again, Allen. He's got the connection over the middle to Diggs. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. Good work after the catch. Going to net him 23 and a first. Uh, he's certainly been a huge factor in this one. He's got the two touchdowns to his credit. Now they look to him again. He picks up the first. Yeah, I can hear everyone saying, well, why don't you cover him? Double him, triple him, do what you have to do. But sometimes they get locked into such a groove and such a connection, it doesn't matter how many guys are in his area. He certainly looks to be in that groove right now. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. A gain of three, second down. A nice play design there with the touch pass. Looked good at the start, but bottom line, the defense was ready. And they did a nice job scouting, didn't they? Not just scouting, but now executing once. And he is into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. From 10 yards out. And the Bills have once again taken the lead. Well, after another passing touchdown, I don't think it'd be an understatement to say that he's in the zone, and I believe he likes it. So Allen breaks the huddle, and his guys will go for two here. Allen 
to throw once more. And this play is going nowhere fast as he goes down. That one might need to go back to the drawing board as they fail on the two-point try. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. The Ravens take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. That'll set him back with a loss of three on the play. And that'll bring up a third down. This time, Jackson will throw it. He'll buy some time right. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Well, that was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. We call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. They run with a rookie from Utah. This is Zach Moss. He'll get about four as he's past the 35 to the 38-yard line. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. At the 38-yard line. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. They'll run out of the gun with Singletary. They had a good swarm to the football defensively as they get him down at about the 40. Two yards the game there, and now they're left with a third and about four for a first. Two on the play. Brings up third and four. Single receiver, single receiver. Single receiver. Operating from the gun. Allen. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off near the 44. And he will bring this back. It's a pick six and a Raven touchdown. It goes without saying, but I'm going to say it anyway. That's a ball he would like to have back, and it lands right in the lap of the defender from there. He doesn't have very far to go before he gets to the end zone, and he got there in a hurry. Extra point try good by Gano, and the lead is up to five. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. Taking it about the one. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. The Bills take over first and 10 at their own 24-yard line. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. Now Allen to try again after the pick six. Working the middle here. That's complete to Knox, the tight end. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive. 12 yards. First and 10 at the 36-yard line. From the gun, Allen. Isaiah McKenzie hauling it in. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 11 yards and a Buffalo first down. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. That one whistled against a big right tackle. You'd think being able to fire out and block, it'd be a lot easier to not commit a holding penalty, but it's tough to keep those guys right in front, isn't it? Check 
Allen off the play fake. Dancing to his left. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. I know he was trying to get the completion downfield, but the way this game has gone, with a few of the runs he's made along the way, he should have kept the ball and taken it with his feet downfield. That's the big play that shreds the defense. Instead, he thought to himself, I'm a quarterback. I've got to throw it. He bailed out the defense with that incompletion. Throwing on second and long. Allen going deep for Dick. He's got it at the 15. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Stephon Diggs, touchdown number 22 on the season as his guys are able to regain the lead. So Allen breaks the huddle and his guys will go for two here. And they'll try to run it in with Singletary. And he'll get into the end zone to push the lead up to a field goal. So they make the decision. They want a three-point lead versus a two-point lead, and they got it. Yeah, at this stage of the game, it seems like the exact right thing to do. Put a little pressure on your defense, but the biggest thing now is you're making the other team chase you. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive, and they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, <laughs> realize it hasn't worked go to so something well, else. and maybe you try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players, and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Jackson from the shotgun. And he'll throw this one away. But I don't think he was out of the pocket. No, here comes the flag. In the pocket, chucked it away. Flag comes down. So you got to move a little bit, right? Know where you are on the field. Have some awareness. Tackle to tackle. You got to get outside of that tackle box in order to get that done. They throw again on second down. This one's complete. And he's upended after a gain of four up to the 25-yard line. It's a gain of One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. They go play action with Jackson. Looking for Pettis, but that's intercepted. Picked off by Jordan Poyer. Well, it's third and long, and you've got a few different ways to play it offensively. But this is not the type of offense that's going to wave the white flag. They're going to keep chucking it. And this time, it results in an interception. They'll run on first down with Singletary. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. An opportunity to get a drive started here at the end of the third quarter. What you're trying to do is break the game down a little bit. Don't let your guys see too deep into the game, into the future, and say, oh, we got to get here. No, right here, right in front of them. Melt the clock down, get to the fourth quarter, try and keep going. And try to keep that lead. Exactly. We're off to the fourth quarter here in week 15. Happy holidays to all. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. They go right back to Singletary. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. 
A good run on first down, followed up by a not so good run on second down. Now let's find out if they're going to stick with the run here on third down. A lot of people would love to see some play action here. I say go with your best running play over your best blocker. Allen looks to throw on third and one. And that is incomplete. Coverage was awfully tight there on third down. They actually closed off all the passing lanes, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. a big one now. Try to hold this lead. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Operating from the gun. Allen. Man open. It's Moss complete. And he's going to get the first down as they bring him down at the 23. They're able to keep the drive alive. Seven yards that time and the decision to go for it proves to be a good one. We saw a number of good games earlier today. This one might top all of those. It's been a dandy as we come up on first and 10. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. 12 yards that time, and a Bills first down. I think we're seeing the effect that runs like that are starting to have on this game. They're a little bit slower, that front seven reacting to the football, almost like body blows in boxing. Slow them down, and they're really starting to take over in this game. Open man, Butler complete. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. A good rally to the football keeps him to only a yard, and it's second down. Second and nine at the Ravens' 10-yard line. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen. Now he steps away. And he's able to get this down to the five-yard line before he's out of bounds. He'll end up getting five out of that, but now they're looking at third down. Looked at me like they adopted what my kindergarten teacher always said. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. And finally able to hold him in check. He'd been carving him up running the ball. That's the first time I think I've seen where the coverage was good downfield and they accounted for him and stopped him for a short pickup. Yeah, I don't think it was a big adjustment, but much more emphasis on making sure they knew where he was we decided to take off and go. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Devin Singletary with a lucky number 13 touchdowns now on the year. And the Bills will add on to their lead. A solid blocking up front from the guys on the offensive line allowed him to get in for the touchdown. Yeah, some might say that the guys on the offensive line were in concert. I used to have a coach who called it marrying up. Meaning, when you get on a guy, you just stay right there. And each guy has his own assignment. That allowed the runner to make the big move towards the end zone. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. First and 10 at their own 19-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive? Or no, you just throw that. Oh, and for the third time, Jackson going to be intercepted. Levi Wallace with a pick. And he is going to score. It's a pick six and a Bills touchdown. Coaches preach all the time about opportunities and taking advantage of them, and he did exactly that. I used to have a coach told us all the time, a lost opportunity is never regained. Well, no regrets here. He picked that one off and took it to the house. So after the INT, it's Allen, flush to his right. And he goes down. The Ravens able to get to him. I know they didn't tack on the two points, but I liked their attempt. After the interception return for a touchdown, I was thinking to myself, forget kicking it, go for two, and they did. Oh, yeah, and everybody's scrambling. Maybe you catch the defense on their heels. They weren't ready to be out there. Yeah, it's almost like a sudden change, right? There's a turnover, you take it away. They stuck it in the end zone. Keep the momentum going. Give credit to the defensive guys for rallying and stopping that two-point attempt. 
The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. We'll see if they can band back together after the pick six. It hurt badly, but still within striking distance. A two-score game. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off at the 28. Charles, whatever's going on between his ears right now, it's just not completely calculated correctly. Seven picks between last week and this week after that one. And they always say the most important part of a player is those six inches between the ears. But right now, it's all those interceptions that are going on. So whoever his trusted confidant is on the sidelines, I don't know if it's the offense coordinator, quarterback's coach, maybe the backup quarterback, that's who he needs to get with now and get himself calm. Second and ten. Ballin will try again on second down. Oh, he's able to outmuscle him here as he pulls it in. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. First and 10 at the 48 yard line. From the gun, it's Allen. And his throw is incomplete. Stephon Diggs, his intended receiver. But it'll be second down. Marlon Humphrey on the coverage. Throwing again. Allen. And his throw is going to be incomplete. And there's a good opportunity to just want to ride there. A drop pass. I guess that's why they call them running backs and not catching backs. And 10 yards to go. The Bills on third down. They've hit four of seven. This is third and 10. 48, 48 from Mike. Marcus, defense, Marcus. Switch, switch. On play action, Allen. And they're going to get him. He's taken down for a sack back at the 47-yard line. We've watched this a long time, and I still don't believe we get it. Third and long, why are you calling play action? Yeah, because they're not going to bite defensively, right? No, not at all. I did have a coach explain to me years ago that for some teams, that's how they have to deal with pass protection and their line blocking. But to me, it seems silly. Yeah, well, there, it's silly, and that leads to a play action sack. At their own 24-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. Their defense was able to force the punt. That's the good news. But this is still a two-score game, and they need points on this drive and in a relatively quick manner. He's going deep for Brown. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Hollywood Brown, the intended receiver. But it's going to be second down. Second and 10 at the 24-yard line. To throw again. Jackson buying time to his left. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. As soon as I saw him break contain and get outside, my first thought and my eyes gravitated downfield because nowadays, most of these quarterbacks, when they do that, they want the big play downfield. They don't want to throw it short. In this case, he took the shot. It fell incomplete. On third down, Jackson. He's going deep for Brown. I need to get that swag right there. Inside the 30. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. Marquise Brown, 76 yards. And the Ravens cut into that lead. No, we're not cheering. No, we're not rooting. But I am excited about this, and I know you are, too. We got a ball game again after that big-time strike. Big-time strike, and you are right. Don't go anywhere yet. This thing's not done. You know the extra point as this gets them back within a touchdown and a two-point conversion. So the lead trim down to eight as here comes the kickoff, and it's away. Taken about seven yards deep. And he's only going to make it to the 13-yard line and no further. The conventional football, football 101, tells us if you don't get it back to the 20-yard line on a kickoff return, that's a disappointment. But some of these teams, special teams coaches, with approval by the head coach, they give them full authority to go ahead and bring it out and try to be... He's got a man complete! And they do finally get him down, but not before he reaches the 41. 
A big play here for the Bills. 46 yards. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. So it's Bills football here as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Eluding the pressure right. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. A gain of 32 that time. It's first and goal and a late touchdown at this stage. Could officially salt this one away. Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off by Tavon Young. And the Ravens are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. I tell you what, credit is due there on them preventing the touchdown after that interception. How about him chasing him down and not giving up the pick six? Because what happens a lot of the time is when you see the interception, you just kind of hang your head a little bit and you momentarily pause because you're frustrated. He shut that off and gave great chase and got it done. Still a great return and very good field position. 23 yards, the final tally. And he's into the end zone. No flags. It's a touchdown. And now a two-point conversion. And we'll be tied here in the final minute. Do they have one big call left? Here we go. So they got the touchdown they needed to cut this to two, but now they've got to get back to the huddle. No celebration time. Got to figure out what they're going to do on the two-point conversion. Here we go now as we get set for a big two-point conversion. They'll try and run it in. And he's going to get into the end zone. The two-point conversion successful. And we've got ourselves a tie football game. So here comes the kickoff now, all even here in this fourth quarter. Taken about seven yards deep. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line. So bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision. Loses him about four yards. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. They've got work to do, but they do still have a bit of time here. And they've got to feel comfortable with that, but they have all their play sequences called. If they get out of bounds, that allows them to huddle and call another play. But if they don't, it's hurry up to the line of scrimmage and either spike it and stop the clock or continue to move it downfield in order to try and get in range and win this game. See if they can do just that. Allen to throw. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. First and 10 at the 40-yard line. To throw is Allen. Flushed out right. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. He was looking for Devin Singletary there. And now it's second down. Well, the ultimate result was an incomplete pass. They sure look like a well-coached team because once he got outside of the pocket, the scramble rules come into effect. And a lot of the guys who ran deep routes, they come back closer to the line of scrimmage. And the running back usually runs a check down. He took it deep, and they gave it a big shot and came up unsuccessful. The throw on target to his receiver, McKenzie. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. A play fake to Singletary, and now it's Allen. He's got the hook up with Diggs. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. At the 49-yard line. Back to throw, Allen. Escaping the pressure right. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. And with inside of 10 seconds, 8 to be precise, we get whistles and a timeout on the field. Brings up second down. Now.
That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. Mike is 59. Mike is 59. I don't think you got it, sir. Mike, Mike, check, check. 59. 59. Now Allen. Flush to his right. Open man completes it to Butler. Now he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. And we've got free football. Four quarters done, and we're dead even. We'll have overtime after this timeout. It's a little teaching moment here. Overtime rules. Remind us how this goes, partner. Okay, so in the past, we had sudden death. First team to score wins, but no longer. Now, if the team receives the ball, scores a touchdown, they win the game. If they kick a field goal, though, or don't score, the other team gets a possession. And after both teams get a possession, then we're into sudden death. First team to score wins the game. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29 at their own 29-yard line. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. They control their own destiny here. They have the football in overtime. Obviously, a touchdown would win it. And I think teams around the league are still adjusting to the idea of going downfield, scoring a touchdown, wins the game because they were used to just going downfield and trying to get in field goal range to win a game. Still having to make that transition. Let's face it now. The ones who are doing it best know they need to go down, attack, put the ball in the end zone, and not leave it up to a field goal and give the other team a chance. Yeah, as we said, they control their own destiny now. Sliding out of the pocket and seeing nowhere to throw. He chucks this one away from harm. Incomplete. Now it's third down. Oh, I like that right there. Not only was it the right play, throwing it away like that, Frankly, I think it was the only play. Yeah, got outside of the pocket, realized he had nothing, just chucked it free. Yeah, lived to fight another down, right? And he's going to be taken down here, still a couple yards short of the first. Give him a couple on the run as it brings up a fourth down. Just looking down at this with a naked eye, looks like they have about a yard and a half. Any chance they go for it here? There's a chance, but I have to say, punt the ball here. Get rid of this thing and try and help your defense a little bit. I know there's that temptation, and I know people have it on their play sheet. I have that one play that'll get me what I need, but if you don't get it, you pretty much handed the game to the other team. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. A gigantic call there in overtime, but it pays off with a first down. Gonna give this one to Singletary. Linebacker Patrick Queen bringing him down. That's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. And incomplete on the deep ball. A little too aggressive defensively, and the flag comes out. And no one trying to cover is going to like a call going against them, but you have to like the effort there. Went for the interception, just unable to get it, and the flag did come out. They'll run on first down with Moss. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. Two yards the loss, second and 12. And that's exactly what you're looking for at the inside linebacker spot. Versatility. He can drop into coverage, or as he did on that last play, use his speed to get to the perimeter and knock the ball carrier for a loss. On second down, here's a run with Singletary. Down right around the 25. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. And I know you with every carry, especially in overtime, you're just saying, if you're that ball carrier, hold on to the football. Hold on to it, protect it, but not necessarily settling because you're trying to get to the end zone. You're trying to end the game right here. And I know the defensive guys poking, clawing, raking, trying to knock the ball free and protect their end zone. Yeah, like you alluded to, especially this part of the field. Mike, 
Throwing is Allen on third. He completes it to the tight end, Knox. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. Allen and Knox teaming up there for Buffalo first down. 10 at the 14-yard line. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Being chased out left. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. They'll get just a yard on the scramble. It's second down. Now a timeout called for by the defense. They'll be down to just one remaining as we step aside here in overtime. Now it's second and nine. They will run with Singletary. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Only gets three yards there on the heels of the one-yard pickup. Sets up third and six. He's hit pay dirt a lot this year, but not that time. Yeah, I'm tracking right there with you. You're exactly right. He's found the end zone plenty of times. No way I can find any fault with the call. He may not have scored there, but of course you're going to give it to him. Opening drive of overtime and now facing a third down and six. Big play coming up. So the shotgun snap to Allen. Eluding the pressure right. He can run for it and he will. Give him seven on the tuck and run and it'll get him a new set of downs. Now that's disappointing for the defense. They had the advantage, had excellent coverage all over the field, but they let him get away, scramble, and pick up. And he's into the end zone for the touchdown and the game winner in OT. A partner, a great game that we got to see and making it extra special. Not only did I get four quarters with you in this one, I got some overtime, a little whipped cream on top. Look at you, trying to make this whole thing palatable. I just want you to pay for my meal later. Hey, you really just wanted four quarters <laughs> what you wanted, but how much fun was that? We had that type of a game where we got us to overtime, and then we get the dramatic ending to finish things off as well. What a game. So for Buffalo, it's a 10th win of the year now as they move to 10-4. and four. And they'll hit the road next week to take on the Chicago Bears. Meanwhile, for Baltimore, their playoff hopes take a hit as they drop to 7-7. Seven and seven. And they'll be back home next week as they're set to take on the Carolina Panthers. I'm Brandon Gordon. Certainly have to thank Charles Davis, my broadcast partner, and our entire crew. We'll catch you next time right here. It's the NFL on EA Sports.